Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm making crock pot ribs. This is something I never really thought about making in my crock pot, so I'm really excited to give it a try. Now let's go ahead and get started. These are so easy to make and they only require a few ingredients. First, I'm gonna make up a quick rub to go on the ribs. In a small bowl, I added one teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder, and three tablespoons of brown sugar. Whisk that, then set it to the side. I'm using my baking sheet just to prepare the ribs here. I've got a little over three pounds of pork baby back ribs here. I flipped it over to remove the membrane. It's just a thin layer of skin on the underneath side. I'm not gonna lie, it took a little muscle to get that off but I got it. I sprinkled on half of that rub, then I rubbed it in and flipped it over, then I added on the rest, and I made sure it was completely covered in that seasoning. Now over to my crock pot. I did cut those ribs in half. That way I could fit them all in there. I'm using the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. That is our favorite, and I just poured on about a cup there. Then I laid the other half of those ribs directly on top. And I did the same thing. I covered them with a cup of barbecue sauce. And that's about it for now. So I covered them and set them to cook on low for eight hours. And halfway through, I did rotate these. I moved the one from the bottom to the top. That way they would cook evenly. Then I covered them back up to let them finish cooking. Mine were done after about six and a half hours. They just need to reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Now I'm ready to finish them off. I took them out of the crock pot and placed them on a baking sheet. Then I covered them with a little more barbecue sauce. And you can skip this next step if you want but I just used a little brush to spread out that sauce. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven to let them caramelize. I set the oven to broil and watch them very closely. It'll only take a few minutes. They are done and they turned out amazing. I served them with baked mac and cheese and green beans. I'll have the baked mac and cheese video linked below in case you're interested in that. This was a good dinner right here. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.